All right, and that should be about it for the bubble itself. So we're going to close up these groups over here and go right below the background. And we're going to create a new layer and we're going to call this shadow. And if you go to the marquee tool with the letter M or just go over here and select the elliptical marquee tool, put your arrow between the character's feet click and drag and hold alt and make it a kind of oval shape about eh, yay big about as wide as your bubble but still relatively skinny and then fill it in with black with alt backspace and then deselect it and just like we've been doing before we're gonna add a mask to this by clicking this little icon right here and then with this um, mask thumbnail selected go over to your gradient tool with a white to black gradient actually we're gonna swap that around we're gonna make it a black to white gradient and then click from about the bottom left hand uh, edge of the ellipse and drag it over towards the right hand side and let go and you can see that it got um, pretty much uh, masked out for the most part and we're going to lower the opacity of this shadow to uh, close to 40, 50%-ish area. And then we're going to, you know, have our shadow layer selected and duplicate it with Control J. And then swap to our Move tool. And we're going to transform this with Control T. And then if you have your arrow over this little box right here and hold Control, we're going to drag it down a little bit and then hold space bar and pan this up a little bit. You can see that we've got this double shadow look kind of going here and we're going to check mark it. But I want to give this a slightly different mask to it. You see it has that uh, manipulated gradient on there. We're going to change that. So go back to your uh, gradient tool and then click from between his uh, between Eli's feet and drag it down to the edge of your lips and let go and that'll just slightly change um, where the ellipse is fading to but as you can see we've got a little edge right here on our lips and an edge right here on the other lips so we're gonna go back to our brush tool and we're gonna have that selected and paint in black right here and that will take out that edge right there. Make sure you have this thumbnail right here selected when you're painting in black. And so if you go back to the shadows, or sorry, if you go back to the, the shadows mask, there you go, that's the word I was looking for. And if you paint in black on this edge right here, just paint that in until that edge goes away. Now it kind of looks more like one giant oval sort of shape and go to our move tool and have both of these layers selected by having shadow selected and then control clicking this layer and we're just gonna move it over slightly while holding shift and that looks good to me right there okay we are most of the way done but the next thing we want to do is make yet another layer we're gonna call this one ripple oops forgot P and we're gonna give this clouds like we have half a dozen times now and make it a little more random and then if you go up to filter go to distort and go to zigzag and so the amount is gonna be at 100 the ridges will be at 5 and pond ripples is gonna be the style and if you hit OK you'll see that it gets this weird rounded pond ripple zigzag effect to it and what you want to do is do control T for the transform tool and grab this and drag it down and then drag this up and we're gonna zoom in a little bit more whoa that was weird so just get it so that the center is at his feet and it's looks and it looks like it's kind of warped around his body a little bit so we're gonna put that up maybe move it down just a little bit 
and we're gonna check mark that because I think that looks good right where it is and if you go to the word normal right here which is the blend mode you're gonna change that to overlay so now you want to add a mask to your ripple and again go to the brush tool Hold on click there and then go to the brush tool with the letter B there we go and then paint black in around the edges right here so that way you don't see that edge oh hello toolbar so now you have got this ripple effect just around the bottom of Eli's feet right here and so the next thing we want to do is take this layer and duplicate it and by duplicating it we see that we increased the intensity of the ripples right here but we can also see where some of the effect is that we don't really want so I'm gonna move that a little bit and paint more black in on the mask right here and paint it right there and then I want to do the same thing on the original ripple layer just kind of paint in around here and just make it so that you have just the oval left over and I'm gonna hit control zero to zoom until it fits in my canvas okay so we can see that this is turning out pretty well but there is still one more thing that I think we should add and that's another shadow ripple look at the bottom so select your background layer and create a new layer and zoom back in and go back to your elliptical marquee tool so you're gonna click and drag from the middle while holding the alt key and then we're gonna make it about the same size as before about right there and we're gonna fill this up with black with alt backspace and then deselect it with control D and we're gonna make another selection while holding alt and make a sort of ring so if you hit backspace and control D to deselect you should have this ring left over that's part of the black and then if you control click this layer right here which is the ring that we just made it will load the selection and go down to our background layer and if you hit control J and turn this off you can see that um, it didn't really look like anything happened over here but if you go down to the effects and give it a bevel and emboss you can see that we got something going on over here but we're gonna soften this up all the way up and then increase the depth a lot and maybe not quite so much soft soften and that looks pretty decent to me so hit OK and we're just gonna zoom up to 100 percent and hit the tab key so that all of the menus go away uh, zoom out a little bit here we go so hopefully you guys were able to uh, get all of that and we are done and I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty epic right there. Got Eli using his force explosion, making the ground ripple. Looks pretty dang legit. So, if you guys want me to teach you how to mask a person out, then I suggest going to our blog at chichichecka.com. It should be under the extra section. And we're gonna have a vote on whether or not to make a tutorial on how to mask people out. So. I highly suggest you guys go there and vote for us to make a tutorial on masking people out. Until then, you guys have fun making people use the force and explosions and crap like that. And have a good day. See you next time.